Landscape Lighting Software is proud to announce the launching of Landscape Imaging and Lighting Effects. This combination enables you to take a picture of your client's home, landscape, or outdoor living area during the day and then show them within 10 or 15 minutes what their project is going to look like at night with outdoor lighting. You can easily import images from your digital camera or phone into the imaging software. Then add lighting fixtures and or plant materials to that photo as if they were already installed. Then bring that image into the effects program for night lighting effects. Using landscape lighting software can be one of the most effective uses of your time. Instead of driving across town at night with your demo kit to set up lights, simply have the customer email you a daytime picture of their house or landscape, then you can create the design in under 15 minutes and start the dialogue with the client. You can even email them the conceptual idea before you even meet, taking you one step closer to landing that job. Now I'd like to take a couple minutes to show you just how quick and easy the program is to use. Once you have launched the imaging software, you can open up an image that you've taken with your digital camera. First, I want to place some path lights along this entrance. So I go up to the available libraries, and we have Chloralock, Effects Luminaire, Kitchler, Outdoor Lighting Perspectives, Vista, and Volt. I'm going to use Vista Path Lights, so I open up that library and I look for the fixtures that I want to use. When I find it, I click on it and it brings it to the screen. And I'll place it where I want it and size it down by dragging on the box around it. I'm going to need more of these lights, so I'll use the duplicate command and I'll click down wherever I want a new light fixture. Then I will adjust the size of these, with the ones farther away being a little bit smaller to give it perspective. Then I'll add some more to the other side of the walkway. Now if you want to try out different lighting fixtures for a different look, just select all the fixtures that you want to change out. Then open up a library and click and drag the image from the library onto one of the images in the group. And as you can see, they all change at once, making changes really fast and easy. And we can change it back to the original one just as fast. Now let's place in some uplights from the Vista library. The process is the same. Size it down and place it where you want it. I want this light pointing the other way, so I'm going to flip it using the flip command. Then use the rotate command to point it up a little bit more. And duplicate that one and add a few more. I'm placing this one in the shrub, so I want to make it look like it's partially covered up by the shrub. So I'll use the cut tool to cut the fixture. Now let's place a light up here in the porch area. So I bring up the Kitchler Outdoor Lights and find something that will look good. size it down, and place it on the wall. I want to try a different color of the same fixture, so again I simply click and drag another fixture on it to change it in place. Okay, I have all the fixtures I want now, so I'm going to save the image, and I'm going to open up the effects program and open this image up. The effects portion of the program is where you place in your lighting effects. You can adjust the level of darkness by clicking on the moon icons. It's like a low, medium, and high darkness settings. Then by clicking on the sun, it brings it back to day. I prefer to work in the mid settings. The first thing I want to do is make the path lights look like they're turned on. So I use the lighting tool and simply draw with light on the fixtures. And I want to do this on the up lights also, but I drew too much light as you can see. It requires a smaller brush, so I'll adjust it and make a smaller glow. Then I'll do the same thing to light up the porch light.
Let's make it darker so you can see the effect better. Now I want to create the effect that the light is brighter closer to the path fixture and it fades out the farther it gets from it. To do this we use the spread command. Simply click where you want the light to be the brightest. This is marked with an X. Then you draw the outer limits of your light spread and close the polygon. And there you have it. Now we need to repeat this process for each path light. Now we want to make the light shining up on the wall. So again, we pick the hot spot, draw in the boundaries, and then we need to repeat this for every up light. For the porch light, I want to create a spread on the porch first, and then a spread going from the light to the porch. Now I'm going to skip ahead and finish the rest of the lighting effects. I want some more light on the side of this plant that is close to the fixture, so I draw in some light on the left side and the right side. Now let's zoom out so you can see the whole picture, and now you can see the difference when you click on the day icon and back to night. Now let's save this image once again so we can come back to it later. The program has the ability to label the fixtures on the screen that are in the fixture library in the effects program. You select on the fixtures icon and then find the Vista path light we used and then click on it. It brings up this spec sheet for that fixture. If you want to add a label to the image, then simply click on add and place the text where you want it. You can do this for the path lights as well as the up lights and the program will make a list of everything that's labeled on the screen. Now if I want to print a list of what is on the screen, I go to File, Night Lighting Material List, and I can print it out or I can make it a PDF. It gives me the quantity of each fixture that is on the screen and leaves open spaces for details like mounting, color, and pricing. You can also make a before and after presentation by going back into the imaging program and opening up the image I just created and saved in the effects program. Then open up the before picture, size it down, and place it up in the corner. And place some text in the image, like your company name and phone number. You can use the email command that automatically saves the file as a JPG and attaches it to your email in Outlook. Just add your text and send it. Now I will open that email in my Outlook and open the image that is attached that had the before and after. Now you've seen how you can take an image during the day and within less than 10 or 15 minutes create an image with fixtures, night lighting effects, before and after presentation, materials call out image, and a materials list to help you with your estimates. Could you run across town with your demo kit, set out the lights, do the presentation, and create a materials list that fast? If the answer is yes, then you don't need the program. If the answer is no, I suggest you give landscape lighting software a try as soon as possible. It could pay for itself in the first job you land. Give us a call today at 772-647-8147 or order online at www.landscapelightingsoftware.com.